there are many issues that, that CFEs face and will face in the future. And the, these issues relate, or, or excuse me, are dependent on, as a CFE, are you an internal auditor? Are you working for the company that's, that is the victim? Are you brought in from the outside? Because if you are, then you have your own internal structure of your organization to deal with. And you will be, for sure, you will be asked to leave things out of reports, which may not be the right thing to do, or it may be the right thing to do, and you don't have the experience to know. And it may be some years before you realize, you know what, I shouldn't have done that. I should have stuck to my guns. But quite often when you're new at something, you, you take the advice from people who are supposedly more experienced than you. I think that uh, the only advice I can give of any worth to new CFEs is the, the advice I got from my father when I joined the police. He said, you know, you're going to hear a lot of stuff from a lot of people about what's right, what's wrong, what to do, what not to do. I raised you right. You look into your heart. If it's the right thing, you do it. You can always get another job. That's not a big deal. Stick to your guns because your reputation is a very hard thing to, to establish, but a very easy thing to lose. I, had, I remember my very first ethical challenge as a police officer. And uh, I served a search warrant at this house uh, for drugs. And there was a drug trafficker, a very, very uh, successful drug trafficker, sitting there at, in his living room with a uh, couple hundred thousand dollars in cash on his coffee table and a big metal drum full of hashish oil worth a lot of money. Several gallons of it, tens of gallons of it. And uh, I was very young, I think I was 22. And we rushed in and did our police thing. And uh, he said, guys, you know, everybody be cool. Uh, I have an idea. And I said, yeah, what's that? He said, I'll take the dope, you guys take the money, and we forget the whole thing, it never happened. And I said, I have an idea. <laughs> How about, I'll take the money, I'll take the dope, and I'll take you. It was a fairly easy thing to do. However, much later, I worked mostly as an undercover operator for the police, Canada, and the United States, and in Europe, and I had lots of situations where I don't know if they were ethical challenges as much as there was certainly an opportunity. Uh, we dealt with drug dealers who would deliver money in big suitcases full of cash and, and wouldn't really know how much was in the suitcase. They'd say, well, there's a million and, and a bit, but they didn't know, and my bosses didn't even know what was happening in, the, in regard to the, the actual specifics. <clears throat> Excuse me, there's lots of opportunity to, to steal cash. But, you know, first of all, I was raised a different way. I, I wouldn't do that. Second of all, I really liked doing the job. So, you know, it, it would have ended that. And it wasn't worth the money.